Hello guys! Today I'm going to show you how a Davit launch type lifeboat works, how you can launch her and the life saving equipment inside it as well. So if you are new to a ship, make sure to familiarize yourself within the lifeboat launching procedures, throw the vessel departs pull, or if the vessel had slowed down, make sure that you read the manuals within a week from the date you've joined, because you never know, it may save your life. Enjoy! Remember guys, in order to enter the LiPo, it's very important that the safety pins are placed. In order to avoid uh, mistaken release, so you need to verify that they can be placed before entry. That can be done from outside, looking forward and aft on the boat. This is one of the reasons I love my job. I have the privilege to have this wonderful view on a daily basis. It is wonderful. And we switch over after two. Two zero. Whatever the drill is, the most important thing is that the operator reads the operating procedures of releasing the gear for every lifeboat operator. So it's very important for the officer or the crew member to know how to release the boat and to reset it and of course how to recover the boat uh, back to its position and stow it. In order to release the lifeboat from the hooks, you will need to uh, remove the safety pins which are external of the uh, forward and aft part of the lifeboat hooks. And you have to check on the high indicator that this is in the red area. So then, you'll pull out the safety pin on the release handle and when the boat is on the water surface you will pull up the handle pull up the handle and pull it back it goes to the open position you can see this is the close and this is the open position so as i said pull up and pull it back there is also one more procedure the emergency release procedure and this should be only used under extreme emergency conditions with a lifeboat about one meter maximum above of water. So what's the procedure? You remove this pin here, you take it out and then you will go and break the glass cover using the pin. You'll break it and you will then lift up the high lever which is here, you will put the safety pin below and you'll make an angle in order to pull it up. So this will bring the uh, indicator to the red position and then you will go on the handlebar, you will pull it up again and pull it back. 
So that's the emergency release procedure. Let's go and see the operation of the emergency hand steering tiller. So we remove the tiller and we place it into the position. We place the pin and then when it is placed, when we outer to starboard, the boat will swing to port and when we outer to port, the boat will swing to starboard. Now let's see the build suction pump. So let's say we have water ingress inside. We place the uh, pole inside there and that's the pipe where the suction is and that's the discharge where I'm pointing at and you start swinging and the water is then pumped out from the internal part of the lifeboat. It is very important to read the launching procedures for the lifeboat. You can read also the life raft launching procedures, the operation instructions for the lifeboats, and the procedures for abandoning the ship, throwing the life raft overboard. So these instructions are under an emergency light, which is available during an emergency situation. The power supply will be from the emergency generator. A light of such with emergency light has a red signal and can have a letter E on it, indicating that it is emergency. Additionally, I would like to mention that the uh, lifeboats are also dedicated, there's one dedicated as a rescue boat. So currently the one on our port side has a high speed for rescue boat and a low speed for lifeboat. So currently it is left at low speed but if you turn it backwards it will go to high speed for rescue boat which means it will lower the lifeboat faster and of course it will pick up the uh, lifeboat faster. So this is the uh, turnbuckle which will release the lashing wires. In order to do so you will need to come here take out the pin pull this down and this will come out so you've got the wire available it's unlashed and you can uh, remove it you will need also to uh, remove this pin from here and you'll put it upwards this is on the aft part you need to do the same on the forward part this is the uh, safety hook which secures the davit up there there are three ways of lowering the lifeboat the first one is from internally which is with this wire which is connected to the uh, davit and you can lower it and the other two will be shown to you from outside. In order now to uh, lower the lifeboat the way is very simple you remove this pin here you remove it and you pull up the handlebar. The third way of lowering the lifeboat is via this handlebar here. This handlebar here directly to the brake handlebar and again if you pull it it will release the brake and eventually the boat will be lowered So let's say that the uh, lifeboat is um, hooked up again after a drill and we need to heave it up. The first way of heaving up the lifeboat is with the motor, with electric motor. So the green button up specifies that you will heave up the wire. The red button is the emergency stop and you press that in case you need to stop the operation. That's the first way. Let's go now and see the second way. The uh, second way is with this crandle bar here, which you remove. You take out this crandle bar, you remove the uh, clip here, you take it out, and you'll go and fix it in here. You'll place it in here, and you will start 
heaving up on an anti-clockwise rate. Let's have a look now on the lifeboat equipment. guys i hope you liked today's episode in regards to the lifeboat and the lifeboat equipment plus the releasing system of the lifeboat and of course how to lower and how to hit up the lifeboat this is very interesting for a new uh, seafarer who joins a ship because i already gave you a very good information in regards to the lifeboats so in case you like my uh, video please subscribe and click in all notifications in order not to miss my future videos plus you can comment below and yeah hope to see you next time have a nice weekend bye bye stay safe